Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Right, thanks for joining us on today's video. I purposely left the hard top on this car, even though it's, it's really its best state as a convertible. The great thing about it is you get two completely different cars, right? And this is uh, giving you that great looking painted hard top look. Or when we put the top up, you get that great convertible look. Or of course, with the top down and the proper high speed gel in your hair, you would then enter the world of Roadster. All right, so we took the top off of it. Now we have a completely different car, right? Isn't this fabulous? So it's 2019 we're doing this video. This is 30 years later. This car is now becoming a classic and collectible car. If you look on some of the websites that are available, like uh, Haggerty.com, they're showing this rising up in value now. Now it's becoming a collector car. So a low mileage, loaded car like this is really fabulous. And this car is very original, right? One of the things I look at when I'm buying a classic or an exotic car is I look at the tires first. You say, Tom, well, what, 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 why the tires? Anybody can do tires. You're absolutely right. But if I love my car, I'm putting the very best tires I can get on there. If it's just a car that I'm flipping, right, if I was just a flipper, I'd put the cheapest Chinese tires that I could get on there, that the least expensive, right, and roll those out. This car came here with a fresh set of Pirellis, right, this beautiful paint that was all around, the tan interior, and I just wanted to show you the quality of it, which we did just a second ago right here just so you can still read everything in there. This is just a beautiful time capsule of a car in a great color combination, right? The fact of the matter is it drives modern. It's got four wheel disc brakes. It's got four wheel fully independent suspension. It's got overdrive transmission in it. It's got a very powerful big 5.6 liter V8 in it. That's a lot of V8 for a German car. Those guys squeeze a lot of power out of them. That's why these become iconic and they continue to go up in value. All right, let's take a peek under here for a minute. This is the part that makes collector cars more authenticated. And hear me, okay? So when you get a car like this, you want to look for things like the original VIN number. This is stamped into this plate, which means that these decals and things you can't purchase anymore. So if this car was in an accident and the car and these pieces were replaced, all of that would be missing. That's a big feature here, especially as these cars continue to go up in value. The other part I wanted to point out is how clean it is underneath here. Like look at all of the wiring and the clamps and the cables and all of the things here that make for a collector car. If you wanted to go to a car show with this car, you could do that. Even the sound insulation pad under here is almost in near perfect condition, right? The VIN number is still on the hood right there. All of these pieces are in place. You see the VIN number stickers right here? They're on the sides of the fenders, one here, one over there, and on the hood and here. So you know all of the sheet metal on the front end of this car is all original. And those are the kinds of things that you're looking for when you're talking about uh, collectible cars. All right, so some of the originality is tied up in these things here. For instance, like this right here, this is the build code. This is how the car went down the assembly line. It's the colors, it's the options. This CERTA card right here, that's kind of what we call it in-house, uh, is still attached to the car. The VIN number is still stamped here. All of the decals are still there and it really gives you that authentic feel and authenticates, right, that the, all the sheet metal is original. All right, so uh, I like to show the trunk and I like to show the trunk because of the condition of the trunk. This is all the original carpeting in here, the original decals, all right. And we have a nice little sunshade that came with it. And this may not be a big deal to you, but to me, I love this kind of stuff. Here, we have what appears to be the original tire from the car, the Pirelli P6s, right? Original factory, full-size spare. And all of the stuff in here is in such great condition. The jacking instructions are still here on the card. Look at this. 
This is fabulous little stuff. You say, well, Tony, this is a modern car. Who cares? Well, it was a modern car 30 years ago. This is 30 years later. That's how cars become collectible, and that's why they go up in value, because of all of these little things that make them better cars than others. Before I get in the car, I wanted to show you, they also make a bench seat for the back here. If you have two little ones or want to put the dogs back there or uh, something like that, they sell uh, a bench seat. You get seat belts that go back there, uh, which is very nice. And inside here uh, is the soft top in all its beautiful shape and condition. Show you that real quick. It looks great. Nice clear window, right? All that's right there if you need it. That goes right down inside there. And then you just close her right up like so. All right, and then she's good to go. It's nicely tucked there. This is painted, this matches that. It's like little styling stuff. Like a lot of people say, wow, that's a great looking car, but they never really know why. These little pieces of luxury or why that. All right, so let's get inside the car for a second. This door is serious. This is a serious door. This is not a, a this is not a, 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 a typical small car door. All right, so now let's go ahead and get inside here. Little stuff to me that says a great car is things like the footwell lighting working. You say, well, Tone, uh, all, all footwell lighting works. Well, no, that's not true. 30 years later, a lot of stuff doesn't work. So for instance, we've left this car completely kind of stock. This is all the original wooden dash. This has a slight couple cracks in the clear. They have a reproduction piece for this. We can get that for you if you want it, or if you want to keep this all original, we can too. But as we're looking around the car, like that's one of the only imperfections of the whole car, which is pretty spectacular. I like to show the good and the bad. Like everybody's gonna say, oh wow, my car is the greatest car ever made. Well, this probably is the greatest car left out there, but this small little piece right here shouldn't deter you from getting it. Plus, they sell this piece right now, and you can get a new one. Anyway, so uh, on to the performance of the car. 160 mile an hour speedometer, 7,000 RPM tack, full array of gauges, including this great looking temperature gauge here. And when I say all original, this has the original AM FM cassette in it, right, which is kind of cool. And then we have all of this too, which I love. This is the books, right? Tons and tons of service records showing how it's been serviced, and more importantly, to authenticate the mileage on the car. You're buying this car because it's super low miles, right, and you want to be able to support that. So it has a clean Carfax, all these service records, we've got great history, and it's just a fabulous interior, especially when you get inside here. All right, so we close up the video circa 1989 Miami Beach, California, somewhere. This car is fabulous. You know what? In Maine, it would be spectacular. Wisconsin, anywhere where you wanted a car that was reliable, powerful, great looking still, and continuing to go up in value. We're talking about a car that's been driven roughly 1,800 miles a year. All right, 1,800 miles a year, which you can say, hey, this could be a third or fourth car. You could leave it a vacation home, jump in and go. All, the, all of the modern conveniences that you'd want, four-wheel disc brakes and air conditioning and a beautiful wood and leather interior and great carpets and the great drive of the car. It is fabulous, not to mention two tops, which give you two totally different looks. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this last year, last year collectible 1989 560SL.